Good evening, I'm Navya Singh and I'll take you through the news that deserves your attention today. Let's get started. A National Commission for Women member who visited the 50-year-old woman's family who was allegedly gang-raped and killed in Uttar Pradesh's Badayu district has said that the woman would not have been raped had she not gone out alone in the night. Now, this member of the NCW, Chandramukhi Devi, who was sent by the panel as part of the two-member team to meet the family, has attracted a lot of criticism for her objectionable remark. Flights from the United Kingdom to India that have been suspended since the last week of December in view of the new strain of coronavirus resumed today. At least 256 passengers travelled from the United Kingdom to Delhi. India, as of now, has reported at least 73 confirmed cases of the new strain of coronavirus. A 19-year-old girl in Uttar Pradesh's Muradabad district is fighting for her life after she was allegedly raped and thrown off from the terrace of her residence. Now, the father of the girl has alleged that their neighbour allegedly sneaked into his daughter's room, held her at gunpoint and then raped her at the terrace of the residence. When the girl made some attempts to flee the spot, the neighbour allegedly threw her off the terrace and fled. The centre on Thursday said that the bird flu cases have been confirmed only in four states which include Himachal Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Kerala. The centre has asked states to ensure that there is sufficient stock of PPE kits and all the necessary requirements for culling operations. They've also asked states to be prepared for any sort of eventualities. Pakistan on Thursday acknowledged the presence of jaish e chief Maulana Masood Azhar on its territory and has sought an arrest warrant against him. An anti-terrorism court in Pakistan has issued an arrest warrant against Maulana Azhar on charges of terror financing. That's all for today and I'll be back with some more important news tomorrow. Thanks for watching.